Welcome to IPSA's self-service introduction to IPSA Basics. IPSA is the integrated personnel and pay system for the Army. This overview will familiarize you with some of the features of how to access and manage your HR records. Please note, we will be referring to soldiers as members because that is the terminology used by the Oracle PeopleSoft system. PeopleSoft is the software that runs IPSA. IPSA enables members to actively participate in their HR actions. As a member, you have access to view and submit updates to your records, easily submit help desk cases, and submit and track your own personal action requests, also known as PARs. So as a member, it is important that you understand what this system can do and how it pertains to you. In this video, we will cover what is IPSA, how to access IPSA, the self-service homepage, navigation, tiles and applications, training, and the Help Center. IPSA has modernized how the Army operates by integrating talent management, human resources, and pay into one system that allows every member to manage their personnel records from their government or personal computer and mobile devices 24-7 if they have an established DS logon. IPSA compiles information from different systems or authoritative data sources, such as individual awards, weapons qualifications, physical profiles, and more, updating your records in IPSA. IPSA also compiles and shares information with other official Army systems. IPSA increases the Army's overall efficiency by allowing our leaders to make informed decisions, ensuring a ready force for the total Army. IPSA also allows individual members to access, update and request HR transactions while at home, in training, or in deployed environments. IPSA's mobile application allows members to access their personal records using a mobile phone or tablet and is available for download on the Apple Store and Google Play Store. The IPSA app allows direct access to IPSA from your mobile device, allowing flexibility for any time, anywhere access using your DS logon. You can submit help requests, inquire about record updates, and monitor the status of personnel actions. They are automated, paper-free, and transparent from initiation to approval, all without requiring a common access card, better known as CAC, for authentication using your DS logon username and password. You can log on with self-service access using your CAC or established DS logon. Using the following URL, enter your username and password. You are accessing a government information system. Please read and agree to the conditions by clicking OK. After signing in, you are automatically taken to the self-service homepage. To access IPSA from a government device using a common access card or CAC, use the following URL. At the EAMS, Dash a login page, select the CAC login button. You are accessing a government information system. Read and agree to the conditions by clicking OK. After signing in, you are automatically taken to the self-service homepage. The self-service page displays commonly used tiles based on your role. You can personalize your homepage by adding application tiles or saving application locations to your favorites for easy access. Let's take a quick tour of the homepage. The search icon, which looks like a magnifying glass, is a search tool that lets you narrow in on the correct page you are looking for by using the drop-down menu or keyword searches. You can access the different features within IPSA and navigate through the system using the four icons in the top right corner. Let's take a moment to explain these icons, starting with the home icon. The home icon will always return you to the self-service homepage. The notification icon, which looks like a bell, shows actions that require your attention or alerts notifying you of actions that have been taken. Once you click on the bell, it will bring up a list of your notifications. These notifications appear when actions are required by you. Bold letters mean that you have not looked at the action, and standard lettering means that the action has been viewed but not actioned. Once it is actioned, it will disappear from your notifications queue. The action list icon has three vertical dots. From this drop-down menu, you can personalize your homepage, open a new window, set preferences, search training products, and sign out. Let's look at how to search for some on-the-spot training. Help provides access to quick training and informational resources. You can search by topic or by role. Multiple help resources, such as short training modules, can answer your questions. There are also additional resources such as policy guides, CRM, and IPSA Release 3 user manuals. The last icon is the navigation bar icon, which looks like a compass. You will use this to navigate to different areas of IPSA through a set of menu paths that open on the right side of the screen. 
Now that you know how to navigate the home page, let's take a look at some of the different applications available to you. Menu being the most important, this provides easy access to all IPSA applications and features. A member may view their talent profile from the Member Soldier Talent Profile tile. The profile comprises a front and back page, organized into 25 distinct topics such as basic personnel information, readiness, career mapping, self-professed skills, and experience. The back page displays service data, self-professed cultural experience, and proficiency, career planning, and behavior. Members may print the information contained on each page. The My Personnel Action Request Tile, or PAR, allows users to submit new PARs as well as view existing requests. These action requests include, but not limited to, awards, admin record corrections, skills and qualifications, and personnel information changes, such as a name change. Selecting the My PAR tile displays the PAR dashboard. Listed here are all PARs that are associated to your name and employee ID number. Selecting the Create Personnel Action button will display the Request Details dialog box. From the Action field, select the action to be requested. Select the reason from the Reason menu. After selecting Continue, the PAR form will display. Complete the required fields denoted by an asterisk. Once these actions are completed, the request will route to the member's S1 pool for verification and then the appropriate level of approval. The My Personnel Action Request Tile, or PAR, is the tile used for submitting personnel actions on yourself or a buddy. The Buddy PAR allows you to submit an award for anyone in the Army. These actions will be sent for approval through your S1 pool to the appropriate level of approval. After selecting the My Buddy PARs button, the selected buddy form displays. This may look different than the PAR you complete for yourself. The Select a Buddy dialog box allows you to search for your buddy by last name. The Request Details dialog box displays your buddy's name along with the effective date and the action field. The only action available in the Action drop-down menu is for an award recommendation. In the Reason field, select the reason for the award. The final piece of information needed is to select the award name. Once complete, select Continue, and the PAR form will display. Complete the required fields denoted by an asterisk. Once these actions are completed, the request will be routed to the member's S1 pool for verification, and then the appropriate level of approval. The IPSA hands-on training tile displays your enrolled learning for all IPSA-related training. To achieve elevated roles such as a leader or HR professional, you will need to complete all required training. Training is provided by a single course or by an entire program. Upon completion of the required training, you will be able to request elevated access. This is done through the Access Request tile. The Pay Absence Incent Dead, better known as Paid, tile displays absences, special and incentive pays, field duty, and benefits. The Paid tile opens up with your information pre-filled. For an initial request, select Entry Type. For this example, Entry Type will be Special Pays. Select Special Pays. Select Add. The PAR screen will open and require additional information. Using the magnifying glass icon, select a special pay type. Select hostile fire pay. The PAR screen will open and require additional information. Select the start date. Select the icon to show the drop down of countries. Scroll and select the country as applicable. Select the icon to show the drop down of HFP qualifiers. Scroll and select the qualifier as applicable. This image completes the entire form. From the self-service homepage, select the paid tile. Absences are for several events, chargeable, non-chargeable, administrative, and parental. In addition to self-submission, authorized supervisors, commanders, and HR professionals can also submit an absence request on behalf of the member. Once you have selected the desired absence type, an absence name, click Submit. On the Request Absence page, you will be asked to select the beginning and end dates of the absence. Then add your supervisor and necessary documents based on your local policy, and then click Submit. The request will be tracked and is auditable. In addition to self-submission, authorized supervisors, commanders, and HR professionals can also submit an absence request on behalf of a member. The Help Center tile opens the Help Center homepage. Here you can access additional help resources, such as the Knowledge Base, 
where you can search for more in-depth articles. Or you can search the frequently asked questions to find answers to previous questions by topic. The My Cases tile is where your case history is accessed. The Create Case tile is where you can submit both HR and IT cases. Your case will be routed to the appropriate person for resolution. The Dependent Beneficiary Coverage tile displays your current benefit enrollments. IPSA allows members to view, maintain, and add additional benefits as they relate to a member's Montgomery GI Bill, better known as MGIB, Service Member Group Life Insurance, SGLI, or Family Service Member Group Life Insurance, also known as FSGLI. To view your dependent summary, select the Authorized Dependent Summary button. The Authorized Dependent Information page displays your authorized dependents. As a reminder, IPSA receives the information from the authoritative data source for authorized dependents, which is DEERS. If the information is not accurate, please contact your local DEERS office to see what the issue may be. The My Retirement Points tile shows information that pertains to your service dates and associated retirement points. This tile is applicable to all components, however, it is more advantageous to the U.S. Army Reserve and National Guard members. Displayed are member information, seniority dates, and retirement information. The My Orders tile is a repository for all orders. Order types vary from permanent change of station, also known as PCS, special skill, and qualifications to promotion orders. To search for orders by transaction type, select the drop-down menu. Review the types of orders that can be populated inside of IPSA. If you don't know the transaction type, you can search for orders by the from and to dates. The DD-93 dashboard tile displays the dependent and contact information form DD-93. This form tells the Army who to notify in an emergency or death and who to designate as beneficiaries of certain benefits. IPSA allows members to initiate and submit changes to their DD-93, emergency contacts, and beneficiary information by starting a new DD-93. The TAM Soldier Work Center tile displays the Talent Management Work Center. The Work Center is a comprehensive suite that effectively manages an end-to-end -end self service talent management capability. This enables members to manage their self-professed knowledge, skills, behaviors, and preferences. It also allows members to validate information on their soldier talent profile, and if anything is missing, notify their S1 or HR professional. The left side of the screen, you will see multiple options. The My Profile link provides information about the member's profile. The menu also shows career management and the subcategories. The note on the right hand side of the screen shows that you can add information to the functional category. The physical profile allows access to features necessary to manage your physical well being. It consolidates and displays medical readiness and fitness data from external systems for HR professionals, managers, commanders, and members to review. There are five categories that we will discuss physical exams, deployment readiness, medical board decisions, wounded information, and hospitalizations information. The first one that will be discussed is physical exams. Physical exams show you the last date of your periodic physical health assessment. Deployment readiness will show you all your medical readiness statuses and what you are currently delinquent in. This data is fed from MedPros daily. The remaining three categories, medical boards, wounded information, and hospitalization, we will not show as they are specific to each member. In this video, we covered what is IPSA, how to access IPSA, the self-service homepage, navigation, tiles and applications, training, and the Help Center. Thank you for watching. This concludes the IPSA video for AIT Bolick. You are now familiar with IPSA's capabilities and what day-to-day -day functions you can do within the system. IPSA will be the new standard for HR actions and it will change the way we do business. IPSA is here. One soldier, one record, one army.